the lost souls of 9-11 are being reincarnated as children. The behavior of a growing number of youngsters is convincing parents that in a past life, their child was killed at the site of the Twin Towers, either as a worker at the World Trade Center or as a first responder to the terrorist attack. According to experts in reincarnation, when a child begins to recall a past life, the process begins with nightmares. Molly Kernut says her son Cade was a very quiet baby, but at the age of three, he began to wake up screaming about planes crashing into buildings and the Statue of Liberty and falling to his death. The man who Cade was in his past life had a corner office in the North Tower from which he could see the Statue of Liberty. Cade says he was honorably discharged from the U.S. military. He commuted to his workplace by motorcycle. On the day of the attack, the ceiling above him collapsed, completely blocking access to the stairwell and his remains are still at the site. Cade also remembered the full name of his former self, Robert Pattison. There was a man named Robert Pattison who worked at the North Tower. He was a veteran of the U.S. Air Force. He was on floor 110 on the day of the attack. DNA testing established his identity, however only one small bone fragment of this man was ever found. The rest of his remains are on site. Molly's young son said he chose the family into which he wanted to be reborn. Additionally, he wanted his mother to call him Bob because he did not like the name he was given. Mr. Pattison also hated his given name, Robert. Everyone called him Bob. In 2007, Rachel Nolan was looking for help in online forums on reincarnation. Thomas, her four-year-old child, was talking about past life memories from 9-11. Rachel was a full-time mother. She never permitted Tom to see any pictures from the attack, and there were no first responders in the Nolan family. One day, Thomas began to insist he was a firefighter. He said that although he had gotten trapped, he was trying to break through a wall with his axe, because from the other side, he could hear people calling for help. He talked about a friend called Mike, who was also a firefighter. He did not know if Mike survived. Tom would pick up his whistle and tell his mother, I can use this to wake up the other firefighters when we get called, or if they sleep too late. Inventive ways to rouse sleeping men would have been needed by the station's captain or lieutenant. Tom said, when a man gets separated from the line, he can be found through the use of a special camera. And Tom calls this equipment his standard gear. Gear would be the same term used by firefighters. And they use a thermal imaging camera, which can detect bodies through smoke. The young boy said he used to ride in the front cab of his fire truck even though he was not the chief. That would have made him either a lieutenant or the captain of a company. His friend Mike was on a different truck, he said, along with men who were older. There is a little known practice called country clubbing, which is not talked about in public. 
in which older firefighters may be moved to a station that gets fewer calls. In 2012, a woman known only as Leslie confided online that her younger sister passed away in the attack on 9-11. She was in the South Tower on the 81st floor. Leslie received a phone call from a producer at the National Geographic Channel. The producer was filming a documentary about a two-year-old girl who recalled her previous life as a businesswoman and identified herself specifically as a World Trade Center victim by pointing to different photographs of Leslie's sister. to not only qualify and completely and totally explain that past lives I've been able to document with documents, certificators of death, certificators of birth, and here we have me who passed away year of our Lord, October the 13th of 1920 and 8 in the state of Iowa, only to be reborn yet again in the state of Oklahoma in the year of our Lord, October the 6th, 1931, through my daddy. Now this is absolute proof that past lives are proof. What further proof need you to have? Now have me on your shoulder. 